Yeah, people of the earth and people of Nigeria, people of the Southeast, I greet you. Well, I'm here out of curiosity to experiment and explore what I saw in a YouTube, in a video. Somebody from Kenya explained something that has to do with Moringa 3. What you can have, that you can have light, source of power, source of power from Moringa 3. And after that explanation, somebody again from Nigeria here went also to a show us from Moringa and let that rubbish to what the man said. And out of that curiosity, I've come to this compound now where you have various types of trees around, but particularly where I noticed that there is a, a Moringa tree right inside the compound. And this is why I want to also, because I am that kind of somebody with an inquisitive mind. I now say, okay, let me just show you people. This is knife, the knife I've used in cutting just part of this uh, Moringa tree here. And with the energy bulb, I touched it. I pressed it, there's no light. I couldn't see any light on it. Then when I took rechargeable uh, bulb, I touched it, and it produced full light. This is Moringa tree. And I'm telling you here, I'm Reverend Osio Bioha. Here talking to you from Enugu, there's light. But even when I finish up this, because the man of the Kenya told us how he, he showed us how he used wire. And uh, wired opened up this uh, Moringa tree and wired it and it produced light. That even in the night, it produced more uh, volume of light that they can even grind with it. And he even went further to tell us that their estate, they use this Moringa tree now to power light. So whatever it is, I want researchers, I'm a novice to all this electrical thing or electrical engineers or so, go in to walk and get us this so that we can get off from this epileptic supply of light. Because uh, uh, coincidentally, in this particular compound, after this experimentation and I saw it, I felt that like I should also try other trees. Whether it's, it's something can happen. Then I left, follow me up, I'll show you. This is mango tree. I cut the same mango tree. This is energy, energy bulb. It's not showing anything. And when I came up and used this uh, rechargeable lantern, I touched it. It gave full light. Just putting it on that to open something. This is mango tree. I went again immediately. Follow me up. I want to. This is a native pier. I want to the native pier in this compound. And I opened it up a bit. And this is, look at. This energy light, because of what it has brought in, because the rain just fell in, is still lightning. Then I touched this again, this energy bulb, there's no light. Then I took this one, again, the rechargeable lantern, I touched this again, it gave me full light, full light. This is native pear tree, Ube, Ubibu, and Arachegi, Arachoka, this is the tree. I went again, I tried to see, this is coconut. One that has produced from there is still here now. I'll show you because it's rechargeable like that. I went again and touched this, cut off this uh, coconut tree. I touched all this. This is energy. This is a energy bulb. It didn't show any light. Then when I took up this rechargeable uh, bulb again, I touched it. It gave me full light. This is the coconut. And then I went to the tree, orange tree again. This is orange, I mean, orange tree. Tangerine. I, I cut the same thing, I opened it up, and I touched the energy. There's no light, you can't see any light anyhow. Then when I touched again, this uh, rechargeable bulb, I saw full light. So there are a lot of trees here, different kinds of trees that I've ex ex experimented, which means that it's up to us now. It means we have to get people research, find out that the Kenyan man who now opened up part of these trees and they wired it and it gave light and it says in their estate it's giving them full light so we, this will even encourage people to plant trees in your villages in your squares everywhere find out how you can wire these things and put uh, this energy if it is only energy bulb but i believe that because of the wire the energy bulb can give light because without even if there's difficulty it cannot give you light without the wire but the rechargeable 
Uh, Bob, whatever they use in putting it inside, you know, you are educated, you are electrician, you are electrical engineer, you are whatever. There must be something they put in there, which means that God has already provided things for us that we can now go on and explore it. If you go, all the trees here, I've tried them, they are all giving you life with a uh, rechargeable bulb. And with energy bulb, it's not giving you life, which means by the time you wire it, you can use it. You can also explore and experiment and they find a way you can put it to your house, like the chairman has done, so that there will be light everywhere. It means that the 40%, if they like them, increase the tariff to 40%, 100%, or whatever. It will not perturb us. God has given us something. Let's go into work. God bless you. Plant a tree to gay people.